What's up, YouTube? Dedro here, bringing another video today. Today, I just want to do a quick uh, market watch on some some of the Dark Neostorm stuff and some of the meta relevant stuff. Um, I just I just want to talk about it because, like, honestly, um, the market is actually pretty crazy right now. Uh, we have Nats coming up. There's regionals coming up, especially it's the last regionals before Nats, uh, the last set of regionals before Nats, I should say, and. You know, there's a lot of people who want their invites, really trying to, you know, scramble for their invite last minute. Um, the market can go pretty crazy right now, and Dark Neostorm is actually pretty interesting um, in the way it kind of went down, because, like, there is no really short prints. Um, so let's get into it. I know I'm going to probably be missing some cards in, the, in, in this market watch, like some stuff that, like, I probably should have looked at. Um, but... Uh, I just I keep trying to do this video and then I remember something and then I, I restart the video I don't want to have to edit. Um, I got a few things I got to get done today. So um, This is the last take so first off uh, no material. We're gonna start off with dark neostorm. Uh, no material All right sitting on 50 bucks. I think this card's gonna continue to go down. Uh, it might see some play in side decks right now but it's I think there's better things uh, and things that hit stuff more like more in general, um, like hits more a wider range of decks than rather just like Salmon and Gray and Orcus. Um, Orcus is a big thing right now. If it becomes like to the point where it's almost tier zero, um, this card could be played. It may be played, but I think fifty isn't a too bad of a price right now. I'd probably I, I myself I'm gonna wait till the drop still about forty to try to want to pick these up. But right now, like honestly, fifty is not even that bad. Um, Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood sitting around 42. I don't see this card going up. I, I don't think this card is that great. I think that like gaming life points is cool and all, but like I, I don't think it does that much for the game. Um, I'm just not a huge fan of it. This is a card like I just wouldn't want to play. Um, let's talk about now Cherubini. This is one that could go up. I don't see it going down just because it's a fan favorite. So many people love Burning Abyss. So many people have been waiting for this card. So I just don't see it really doing like going down. Um, I could see it going up if like somebody innovates BA and like makes it really good again. Um, but losing Snow really just hurt that deck like a lot. It was their best card. <laughs> um, Side at Mining is the one. Uh, this was down all the way to 25. Now it's around 35. Um, and I, I do think it's about a thirty to uh, thirty to thirty five dollar card. I think that's completely fair. Um, there's going to be a lot of people still wanting to play Salamang Great and keeping it within budget. Um, but I feel like Orcus is just a better version of Salamang Great. Is one of the reasons why this card isn't more expensive. Another reason is because it is actually one of the more printed uh, secrets in the set. Uh, you like a lot of people are pulling these. It's very a very common secret in the set. Um, you know this is that's something I wasn't expecting. We didn't really think Konami would do something like that you know they they love their chase cards they love printing stuff short printed but um maybe this is a turnaround or maybe they're just giving um some budget players some love i'm not really sure next thing is dingrisu uh this card is is i don't see it really going down from here um i think 25 dollars is completely fair this deck is absolutely insane and it's not just insane as a deck by itself it's insane as an engine um and that's why we're gonna like it, 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 there is trick star orc like there's everything in orcus like that shit goes on everything <laughs> like that's literally how it is it, it's it's the frank's red of Yu-Gi-Oh right now um it's insane um mech knight crusadia avermax this is actually down all the way to 15 last night um and it's going back up to 21 to 23 so like i think this card is definitely a very good card to pick up like even for this price i would pick them up like 20 bucks you know that's to me like that's a fine price for this card this card's really good um has a lot of potential for the future of Yu-Gi-Oh. um nightmare corruptor idli this one's about 12 dollars uh this is not like if you need this for your deck, pick it up. Like you can't really complain about a you know a twelve dollar secret. Um, and then Ib, this one's like oh my god, ten dollars. Like for the synchro, I, pick this up. Like I think this is a really good pickup right now. This is a good investment. Um, this is just something I'd want to invest in. You just never know uh how like how shit's gonna go down. What's gonna like you know uh, a ban list? Like seriously, whoops, screwed up. A balance will actually make it really good, like it, depending on wh what happens. So like this, this could be really good. I, I think this is a good pickup. I would invest in this. Um, Obni Dragon Brotar uh, is ten bucks. Sure, we're not gonna go too much into that. Um, it is a card that people want. Want so like it's. I don't see it going like too much more further down than this because like some decks do want it, some decks play it, um, but it's not super like key or meta. 
um maybe i could see it going down maybe to like seven eight bucks maybe six but i definitely think like for for the first little bit this is okay once special eds come out uh, it will drop quite a bit uh crackdown four dollars this was down quite a bit to like three dollars earlier uh or tomorrow uh, yesterday um and now it's gone back up to five this card just it's a really good card to pick up uh alter guys like it helps older guys so much um mystic mine's the one that dropped the most uh it was like 13 dollars on pre-release like some people are selling it for 20 some people are going for 13 i definitely think uh if you can pick it up for about 350 i think that's completely fair um once the set you know picks up a little bit more um I can see this card being like five bucks, but you know, there, there's so much potential for this to be a hit on the ban list, like after Nats. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, that's all I really want to go over for Dark Neostorm. Those are all the relevant cards. Um, next we'll go over Mystical Space Typhoon. Um, you know, this card for the ulti is insane right now. Like, if you pick this up for what it was before this, you were really good. Um, a lot of people, the reason this is going up is because like a lot of people are worried about the mystic mind that you need back row removal for that deck. Uh, if you, you can literally just lose to the spell card very easily. So as long, so as long as you have the back row removal, you're like in a lot better of a spot. Um, so that, that's one of the reasons. Um, and then the ghost is actually $11 and about $6 for the unlimited, uh, the unlimited ultra rare spell ruler. Um, and then same thing like this is damage. Let's, let's look at these, uh, what let's go scroll down here. Um, damage damaged. Let's try to get to the LPs. So LPs unlimited. These are still about five, six dollars. Um, let's get into the first ads. There is a lot of posting. So first, that's moderately played. I'd, I'd say like probably 20 at least for each for a lightly played. And near mints are going to be about 35. So that's not bad. This card's just an awesome card to have. I especially love the one that says magic card. I think that's awesome. Um, and then Cosmic Cyclones, uh, I just explained why MST is good. It's the same reason, guys. Um, 25, um, the secrets haven't really touched at all. So, like, I think that people just rather go over um, the Mystical Space Typhoon because you don't really need to banish their stuff. It doesn't really make a difference for that deck. Um, plus, you, this pays a 1,000 life points, which is just paying any life points and, like, is so bad right now because of time. Um, Sky Strikers, I want to go over. Uh, yeah, the ultis are up again. I don't know what's that about. So ulti Hayate is like forty bucks. I think that's completely fair. This deck is still relevant. So like, yeah. Um, Sky Striker Mobile is engaged. It's sitting around forty dollars. Um, you know, you still need three. You still this this deck is still relevant. It's still in the meta. Like as much as you want to say one Kagari hurts, um, it doesn't change your it doesn't change your turn one. Um, and like after turn one in strikers was, was like kind of the only turn that really mattered because you just gained advantage after that. Um, it changes your turn two and three, but like usually you can just outplay as long as you set up well enough around, uh, turn one. So, um, Widow Anchor is sitting around $30. It's completely fair. Uh, once again, like these aren't going to be reprinted till after Nat. So this is going to be your, like how well this deck does this, th these cards aren't going to go down. Um, they can go up, but they're not going to go up very much more than this. Like maybe a $5 differential, but I don't think like, I, I don't see it really doing anything, uh, like too crazy. Um, 30 for ulti shiz is the one you still need three of. That's like, that's fair. I could see this going up a little bit. Uh, if, you know, uh, if Sky Strikers doing, do really well, I could see the ultis going up just a bit because um, it is the one you still need three of. And now the OTS is out of print. Um, and then Kagari's, this is going to just stay around this, maybe even go down to just a $20 card. Uh, you only need one now and it's, it's still nice, but yeah. And then after burners is like $4, but like who really cares? I don't even think this card's that good in the meta right now. Um, yeah, that's, that's all for strikers. Thunder Dragons, Colossus, uh, ulti is sitting at 70. Uh, get rid of this, get rid of this stuff. If you pull this and like, you're not playing Thunder Dragons, get rid of it. If you're pulling it, if you pull this and you're playing Thunder Dragons, if you're a really big rarity freaking whore, like, sure. Okay. Like do like keep it. But like, I, I think <laughs> the, the deck's going to get hit after Nats. Definitely. I, I think it's a card you should just probably get rid of, uh, 33s for secrets 35 like around 35s for secrets this is fair like the deck's not that expensive um darks sitting around eight this has gone up there were like sixes when i got rid of mine for sure and then roars are sitting around fives which are like 
think for a while there were like threes. Um, Titan. Uh, I think this one's more relevant. Like it's still cheap, but I think this is more relevant. I think the Sekka's variant of this build is like really bad just due to the fact that you literally, if you play Mystic Mine, if, uh, if you play against a striker that's playing it or you just play against Mystic Mine Burn, you you ought to lose with Sekka's. Like you just can't play out of it. You just, you just literally lose. Um... I don't know why I just switched that page. Uh, Trickstars, Licorice is sitting out like 20s, like 19s for the ulties. That's completely fair. Uh, Reincarnations are 10s for both copies, so that's pretty cool. And then Carabines are almost hitting 9. Uh, this is this card's really good. Um, and there's that new Trickstar build. That's why we're going over it. That new Trickstar build that like got first place at Toronto Regionals. So it was like a 300 person regional or something like that. Um, it was piloted by a top player though. Like, I think that has a lot to do with uh, why it did so well. Um, the player was just like a really good player in general. Um, first off, there's that, you know, people get nervous when you're known in the community to be really good. Um, the surprise pack factor of trick stars, uh, people not really knowing what to do, especially since it was a different build than like what people are really used to. Um, that helps a lot, but I do think the deck's not bad and it's actually pretty viable, but it's not like super insane. Uh, and then these are sitting around $3. Uh, the light stages are still really cheap. Flood. I want to go over flood and permanence old, uh, secrets, uh, near man unlimited is going for, 63 let's look a little bit more into this because i'm not sure what first eds are going at around the same thing 65 it really held its value uh like pretty decently in my opinion um this is kind of to be expected like the secrets is so much nicer than the ultra um unicorn 35 like same old this card's just a staple it's not going to really go anywhere uh 20s for ghost spells this is like understandable it's not really that meta relevant right now it's like okay in the meta um, Nightmare Corruptor Ibli, this one was like $20, but it went up to about $25, which is fair. Um, it is being played in Orcus, I believe, um, and whatnot. Vampire Sucker is $20, that's interesting. It is a good card, a lot of people love zombies, and you definitely need this for any zombie deck. Uh, Succession, sitting around $10. I can't remember if this is supposed to be reprinted or not. Um, I mean, probably will be in the Mega Tins, but yeah. Um, Griffin is one, also. Ten dollars. Uh, this is not bad for it. I think it was like all the way down. It was it was down a lot. I know. Uh, for a little while. So ten dollars on this card, I think, is a fine pickup. Uh, some decks are actually starting to play it again, so it, it does matter. Um, and then I think that's all. Is there anything else I want to talk about? Ooh, multi faker. Yeah, this was actually down to like three bucks for a while. So, uh, nine bucks on the multi faker. Alter guys are actually decent again. Um, Tris Bane is like sitting around nine and five dollars for Phoenixes. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go over Soul Fusion, uh, Dangers, Snake is like 50, uh, it never got hit on the list, uh, the, you, Dangers played in so much, especially in Orcus and, and, and Thunder Dragon, uh, two really top tier decks you need this for, $50, um, I could see this going 60 closer to Nats when, like, people are trying to scrounge, and once the format gets solved a little bit more, but $50 I think is a fair price, we already went over this, Trap Trick all the way up to 45 um, yeah, it's really it's really good. Like I I don't know what to say. Um, you know we got we got Mystic Mind out deck, which it, this helps immensely. Um, Alter Geist, which is really good, and and the Trickstar build, <laughs> like yeah, it's a great card. Uh, forty five, sure. Uh, Chaos Dragon Lavinier, fifteen dollars for a secret. Um, this is fair. Like it's only really good in Thunder Dragons right now, but it is a really good card in Thunder Dragons. Um, Orchestrated Return, uh, sitting around eights. I don't know if you run this or I mean, you might like run one. I think. Um, Thunderbird, sure. All right. Hidden City, this is one I want to go over. That's the moderate we played. They're still sitting around 30s. I think Guru is still a very viable deck. I just feel like it's a deck that, like, you kind of just win and lose to whatever you draw and, like, how, like, it's not super skill intensive. It's a fun deck and a viable deck for the format, but, like, I feel like the better players are going to kind of stray away from this uh, because, you know, you just, you just lose to hands. Uh, you don't really win to your own plays and you don't really lose to your own plays. Um, it's, it's just kind of weird. Uh, Dankos are all sitting around eights. Uh, like around seven to eight dollars for all the different copies. Uh, this card's super good right now against Mystic Mine. A lot of people are deciding to tech these in, um, in the side deck, especially like Thunder Dragon and stuff. Uh, so they can't burn you. Um, a very good card until you can out your, uh, out their Mystic Mine. Um, Effect Veiler. So Ultra for the Duelist Saga is actually like twelve dollars, twelve fifty, almost thirteen. Um, $13 for the Ultras for Unlimited, so I want to look at the LPs, or uh, not LPs, the First Eds real quick. So First Eds almost, you know, 
not that much more for the LP first dead. There's is there any near mints? Um, near mint first dead twenty five. I think that's pretty good. This this card is still super good in the uh, meta, and then your five dollars for your supers are fair. Why? Why are the supers? All right, guys. If you're buying, if you're buying the premium gold variant over these supers, I'm super sad, especially since these are more money. Like th this looks ugly in my opinion. I hate this. Uh, I I pick up a rare before I picked up this copy. I think the rare is way nicer, even even the common. Uh, yeah, no fuck premium gold. Um. And then Ulti, this is the last thing I'm going over. I think this video is around its own time. If I missed anything, let me know. Uh, all the help, you know, I, I really do enjoy. Um, we're looking at 80s. This is moderately played. Any near mint to lightly played for Ulti Veilers are sitting at 80s for Unlimiteds. Um, and let's look up here. Uh, we'll go to page two. For first ad near mint, we're looking about 150. Um... If you really like max already that much sure like that's that's cool and all um but yeah anyway guys that's all i'm really going to go over today i, I actually went over quite a bit more than i thought i was going to go over uh please comment like subscribe let me know what you think uh let me know if you think these prices are outrageous or if you actually kind of like the prices of dark neo storm and what it's bringing anyway guys uh we'll talk to you later see ya